Well, that was pretty horrendous to be honest. <laughs> there was three of us sat next to each other, weren't there? In sleeper beds, right next to the toilet. It was boiling hot because we were in a little box. And yeah, 11 hours was not that pleasant, was it? It was horrendous. Give you a little room to the toilet. Famous bum going right there. Ooh. Nice big room. Nice and white. We've got a little wheel that we used to eat breakfast. Morning. So today is our second day in Huey. <laughs> Yesterday we just chilled, we didn't do anything. We were knackered after sleep of us. We didn't end up getting much sleep, did we? So today. Hang on. Today, we're going to the Imperial City. Huey is like a, a really historic town, so there's like ancient stuff. Yeah, so we're gonna have a look. Stuff. But it's really cool, we had a little walk around. I say walk, I hopped. Not for long. And we couldn't go very far. Lizard! We couldn't go very far because I kept moaning. It's bloody hard work, you know, on these crutches. We're gonna go high in a moped now, grab some breakfast, and then get on our way. How's it going? Thank you. Definitely recommend checking out this place. <laughs> Cozy <laughs> Cafe, five out of five if you're ever in Huey. Get there. So we've just arrived at the Citadel. This place looks incredible. Can we take a look? Come for food in a little restaurant called Risotto. And what did I order? Risotto. It would have been rude not to. We're going to go home, get an early night. Because tomorrow we're doing the high band pass. We're packed up, ready to go. We've got the steed over there. It's been dropped off this morning. But unfortunately, the weather is rubbish. Not ideal at all. It's forecasted rain for the whole week. Just our luck. So we woke up early-ish, quarter to seven, had breakfast, came downstairs, all ready to go, bags packed, and it starts absolutely pissing it down. But now, it seems to have cooled off a bit, so. We're gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it, get gone. Go for the ride. It takes about four hours in total to get to Hoi An via the Hoi Van Pass and we're going to do the sort of scenic route down the coast. So, come along for the ride. Oh dear, about 40 minutes we've got to be in here. We have to stop to get these on the way anyway. It was dry for a bit and then all of a sudden it started heating it back. It's not like the best of luck. We're going to wait for the rain to pass and then carry on. Look at these chilling. I'm a little laugh. Alright boys. Is there room for one more? Okay, it's a funny family. I don't know if you can see, but we've met two cool 
people <laughs> that we rode back from the high van past it. We're going to go out for lunch with them later. Well, the tea with them later. But we're going to have to wait on the side of the road for a bit when it gets fixed. So, we just phoned the company and they're not willing to come and get us or help us because the bike still starts. So they're only coming to get if it's a mechanical problem. This is a flat tyre, we've got to find the locals to help us fix it. Yeah, we've got the worst possible luck ever and it looks like it's going to rain again. But positive vibes, we're going to try and ride it now and see if we can find the mechanic. Found the mechanic! I'm ready to go. It's gone dark now. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, I need them. Well, you need to bring them to me. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Oh, how's it? Oh, nice. Oh, shit. So oh. This, this is all to eight pound. We have two balconies. Hiya. Hiya. What's happening, people? We've had a little nap. We're refreshed and ready to go. Just come into the old, ta old quarter sort of bit of Hoi An. Let's have a little explore and it looks absolutely beautiful here, like there's lights everywhere, lanterns and stuff. Looks cool and it's actually pretty busy. So we're going to go see the Japanese bridge, which apparently looks amazing in the dark, it's all lit up. And I'm hoping that we get to go on the river and set some lanterns off. And um, we're also going to go and have a little explore around the night market as well. So we just walked just down the street a bit and we found these little boats that go out onto the river and you can set off candles. No, you can't even see it very well. But you can probably hear it. So yeah, we're going to go for a little cruise down the river, set off some candles. Looks beautiful down here. That was quite a nice relaxing ride. Nice and romantic. After the long ride we had all the way here. <laughs> We're gonna head on now over to the night market. It's cool here, it seems so busy, doesn't it? Yeah, it's packed. And there's lots to see, so we've got to make a move on because it closes at 10. <laughs> We're in the middle of the night market. We found this cute little restaurant. And I saw a lady eating some nachos and I wanted some. Not as good as we thought it was gonna be, is it? No, a bit disappointed with the night market in Oya, but that's because we've done like the best ones. I think when you see one night market, like or a couple of night markets, they're all pretty similar. So they've got the same sort of stuff they sell. It's a pretty boring, like. All of that, be two, three, one. Gone for something a bit different today. Gone for the crispy noodle and chicken. We're gonna see what this is about. Pretty crispy. I pick it up. Not quite sure how you might eat these. It's like eating straw. And it's home time. Home time. You enjoyed yourself, Kesla? I've had a bloody great time. It's been nice. I'm glad to come out and see the bit of Hoyan. Excuse me, mate. You can't shit there. You're on public property. <laughs> Sleeping. I am. Kaiser's being boring, she doesn't want to film a video. <laughs> so we arrived in Da Nang after a half an hour journey here. Piss off! We've arrived in Da Nang and the weather's no better here, so we're probably just going to chill for the rest of the day and get some work done. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> First one getting involved, then keeps peeping her head up. Hey, get those smelly gremlins down. I just realised I told you we were in Da Nang, but I didn't tell you why. We've had another mess up again. So we were supposed to be heading down south, that was the original plan, from where we were in Hoi An, down to Dalat, Moine, Ho Chi Minh. But, unfortunately, there's a typhoon forecast to hit like central and southern Vietnam, so the weather is going to be absolutely rubbish for the next sort of week. So instead, we decided to fly from Da Nang tomorrow morning at 5 to 9, back up to Hanoi, and we're going to do the north. Now in Hanoi, 
we've got something very special to share with you. But you're gonna have to wait and see. And then later on tonight, there's a bridge here with a dragon on it, a real one, and a breeze fire about nine o'clock. So hopefully it doesn't get put out by the rain. So we're gonna go and check that out. So we'll take it. We'll take, we'll take it. We'll take you with us later on. So we're at the bridge. We just got an Uber, well, a Grab from our hotel. We crossed the bridge. The guy was keep, kept on driving, wasn't he? Yeah. So you think we put the wrong place in? We're like, stop, 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 stop. So we got out. And now we're the wrong side of the bridge. So we've got to walk over to the other side now. It only goes off every Saturday and Sunday as well at about 8.30. And they shut the whole bridge off, I think. Should be interesting with the first ones here.